What's up? This is SeptiloWeb with another Flatsum video tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to import your theme options inside a new installation. So this is a demo we have created and we are selling this. It's a pre-made layout that you can buy on SeptiloWeb.com. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to import or let's say export first and then import theme options. And maybe you're like, Sep, what are theme options? Well, in Flatsum, here at the, uh, and this is a test environment, here you can see that we can configure all kinds of important stuff. So let's say, where do you want your logo? Where do you want your navigation? How does the site need to look in terms of styling, colors, typography, uh, maybe the layout, WooCommerce settings. So there's a bunch of stuff. And it always, for me, when I'm creating a new website, these are all the settings and configuration where I'm spending a lot of time um, putting everything into place. But let's say now you, for any kind of reason, you maybe want to migrate. So let's say I want to get this website, all these theme options, I want to put that in a new installation. Uh, there's an easy import function that's built in inside Flatsome. So let me show you how to do this. So first of all, I want to make sure that I'm, uh, I'm going to log in into the website that I want to migrate. I go to Flatsome, here you can see it, Flatsome Advanced. And at the backup and backup and import section, you can find a bunch of code and it looks like nothing, but somehow the Flatsum team managed to convert this code into a, uh, to a workable uh, team option migration uh, uh, system. Anyway, uh, you can just copy it, select it all, copy paste, uh, you know how to do this, control C, Windows, command C, Mac, or right click and then copy. Once you've done this, go to the website there where you want to migrate the theme options. Go to WordPress again. Go to Flatsome Advanced. And here at the backup and import section again, you can just get rid of all this data and just paste the code in and then click on import options. So now there's one very important thing that you need to know. It will erase all your existing theme options. So let's say you already created something and you're not really sure if you want to replace all the stuff. You know, you cannot go back. Maybe you, you, it's good to, to make a backup before you do this. Maybe you're like, hey, but I can make a backup and restore my options here. Well, it is possible, but only when you're not doing the import and export thing. So you can do a theme options backup. But let, So you can see I already did a backup, but as soon as I'm importing my theme options, just gonna do it anyway. You will see that my last backup will be gone. So you can only backup things when you're uh, working on your current theme options and you didn't uh, went forward with uh, an import or an export and an import. Hope that makes sense, but this is a very important thing to keep in mind. So if you wanna make sure, uh, if you're not sure if you wanna replace all your stuff, uh, then just make a manual backup, backup with your backup system or maybe through your hosting provider. Uh, now we have done this and I will show you that this test environment looks already way different than it looked before. So now all my team options, like my settings for the navigation, my logo is even there, uh, some styling, typography. So all the things that you can set up here at the team options has, has just been migrated. So this is the tutorial, uh, but I, I find it very handy when I'm, you know, migrating a website from staging to live, or maybe I'm reusing a website uh, for different projects. So thank you for watching. And again, uh, I'm very, very proud at this um, Moi demo that we've just created for Flatsum that can be purchased uh, on my website. And then you can also easily put this design uh, as your starter site for your project. So see you in the next video and good luck with your flat zone project. Bye-bye.